You can achieve mouse-like precision with motion controls, but it can be a little difficult to get used to. So here are some tips. Don't fight against motion controls. Usually, controller players will try to align their shots by strafing, or they will try to use the sticks to align their shots. But that isn't very reliable. But with motion controls, you don't have to do that. So don't fight against motion controls. Actually use them. Don't activate them and keep trying to look forward all the time. Twist your hands just a little bit so you can align your shots without even needing to touch your analog stick. Don't use gyro all the time. You can set the motion to be active only when you press the aim button. And once you get used to that, it will be much easier to change the gyro always on so you can be even more precise. Adjust your sensitivity. Maybe you're playing with a higher sensitivity that doesn't really make sense for you. Don't stick with that. Just use what feels best for you. Over time, you gain experience and maybe you feel the need to increase sensitivity. Adjust your sensitivity. Again. In the last video I told you to decrease your sensitivity, but there are benefits on doing exactly the contrary. Practice a little bit with a high sensitivity, and then go back to your usual sensitivity and you will see amazing results. Calibrate your controller mid-game. On games that have native support, you can set a recenter button, but for those that don't have it, just set a button to disable gyro. Usually I use it long press to disable gyro, so when your aim is offset, you can put it back easily mid-game. Change the way you hold the controller. Sometimes you have the option to choose between yaw and row mode. Yaw is like a pointer, usually better for playing on the TV. And row mode, where you aim by rolling the controller, usually better for mobile play. Combine traditional analog aim with motion controls. A common misconception about motion controls is that you will use motion controls to turn around, but that's not actually the case. Actually, what you want to do is combine the analog movement with motion controls. Use acceleration. I know, acceleration in a mouse is usually very bad, but that's because of the abysmal acceleration curve that is applied by default on Windows. With gyro, it's another story, because you can rethink the accuracy of small movements, and without flick stick, you can do 180 super fast. Disable vertical analog aim. In some games, like Splatoon, your vertical aim is completely disabled. This actually obligates you to rely more on the motion sensors, and it can help you a lot to get used to gyro. Adjust vertical sensitivity. Twisting your arm can be painful. Good thing you don't have to! Go to settings and adjust the vertical sensitivity, so you don't have to twist much of your arm to look all the way up and all the way down. For more motion control tips, follow Flickstick videos everywhere!